we have some sunshine today. A big change coming later tonight, though, into tomorrow morning. Here's your Easter holiday forecast for Sunday. We're expecting 39 for our high. It's not going to be as nice tomorrow because the winds will be quite gusty, especially pre-dawn. It is going to be much colder than what we have later this afternoon. We will find some morning flurries northeast of Onondaga County. Now, for most of the area during the daytime, probably just an odd light flurry and skies actually start to brighten. We've got a bright start. Here's Falso Service Experts live triple Doppler radar, completely free of precipitation. There's the next weather maker. And let me tell you, most of this is tonight between a six hour window, 11 o'clock and 5 a.m. Mostly rain at the back end. There might be a little bit of snow. My only concern for accumulation, the Tug Hill as well as the Adirondacks. And we're talking an inch, maybe two inches in some parts of the Adirondacks. It is chilly this morning. Bright and early if you're out for an Easter egg hunt, get some exercise on. You need the hat gloves and the heavier winter coat with 20s. However, the temperatures will be warming as winds pick up out of the south southwest. Notice back here, 30s, 40s, and we're going to tap into that as we go into the afternoon, and I think we make the 50s. In fact, today will be the warmest day of March, and with the sunshine and dry conditions, I declare it the best day of March. Kind of going out like a lamb, coming in like a lion. We have plenty of snow this month. It's windy and colder, though, for tomorrow. Not a lot of snow, could be a flurry. And then going into Monday, more in the way of sunshine, but it's dry and still on the coolish side. So finally, we get above normal temperatures. Yesterday, the day before, today, we're going to go right back into some chill. They'll come up again, you'll see in the seven day, then they'll go back down. So it's just getting tough to keep a string of these warmer days going versus the string of colder weather we have for over three weeks there. So here's our future cast, mostly sunny at noontime. We will find clouds increasing during the late afternoon. We'll pause it at four o'clock, still nice and dry. In fact, if you have evening plans early on, you should be okay. But coming out of the crunch game, let's say tonight, or if you're going to be out uh, at a late night movie, you might need the umbrella with a chance for some rain showers. These rain showers could mix with and change over to some snow in the back end. Uh, there could be some dustings to the south and southeast of Syracuse, but our best chance for a trace to an inch is on the Tug Hill and the Adirondacks. It could be a little bit more as we go into tomorrow morning, but those few flurries do wrap up and we get back into sun and clouds. Still plenty of wind and chill tomorrow though. So enjoy this 54 degrees. It does turn breezy. The winds pick up to 10 to 20 with some higher gusts this afternoon. We'll find increasing clouds during the afternoon, but dry rain develops late this evening, changes to snow showers and flurries. It becomes very windy. Winds could gust to 45 in Syracuse, but up to 50 55 miles per hour near Lake Ontario. 39 tomorrow, a few morning flurries to the northeast. We'll find uh, more in the way of sunshine for Monday. Cold start at 25, 46 the high. Morning mix goes over to rain showers in the afternoon on Wednesday. Going into Thursday, some morning flurries, 39 degrees. So you see, we're up and then we're down once again. Today, though, today's the peak, the pinnacle. Okay, so get outside and enjoy, enjoy. no question. That's Mike's advice, right? Exactly.